Hello everyone, welcome to another how to video in Excel. And today we'll be looking at how to create a KPI card visual in Excel. So for this, we'll be using the pivot table. And now let's just get right to it. So here I have my data. So I click on anywhere in my data, go to my insert tab and click on pivot table. So I have my new worksheet. Once I click on this, I'm going to have the pivot um, table dialog box out here. Now, what I want to look at, I want to see the total sales, total profit, and the year-on-year -year percentage change. So right here, to create the year-on-year, -year, the total sales and total profit, I'm just simply going to come here click on sales, we'll click on sales, uh, click on profit. All right, so now I want to see the year on year, so I'm going to use the other date. So once I have this, so we're going to see if you look down here, we're going to see that we have this year. So once you click on this, we're going to see that all of these have hierarchies. And this is not what um, our so interest is in. So I'm just simply going to come here, uncheck the water here, and I'm going to uncheck the date. So what I'm left with is just the month and the year. I can also as well uncheck the month since the sole thing I want to see is the percentage change for the year. So the next thing is for voice force to be able to have the percentage change for the year. So we're going to have that for sale duplicated and also that for profit duplicated. So once we have this, we'll just simply right click, show value as percentage different from. Our base feed is going to be the year and our base item is going to be previous. So for times where if our data continues to grow, where it's just going to make reference to the previous one and not just a year that we have. So we're going to do the same for this. Show value as percentage difference and previous. So once I have this, I do OK. And now here, I'm going, we're going to have a single value here up from our table. So what I'm going to do is I have total sales um, year on year percentage change, right? Total profit year on year percentage change. All right, so now I have this here. Um, going to make this bold, increase a little. Um, all right, so for our total sales, this is our, this is the total sales this is our total profit. This is that for the year and year percentage change. So equal to hit the grand total for sales for profit equal to click on the run total for profit. So for our year and year percentage change um, for sales with the equal to, this is for sales, we have our equal to, this is for profit. So the next thing we want to do is to format this. So we're going to format this in currency, the sales is in currency. And for the percentage change, we want a situation where if it's, if it's positive, it's going to have an upward arrow. And also we're going to, it's going to be highlighted in green. But if it's negative, we have a downward arrow and then we're going to have it in red. So to do that, first of all, highlight this um, for the currency. Click on this, go to zero, and then we have this. So we we'll use our format painter and do the same. So for change, bring up our dialog box for change, 
come to custom and then we'll simply use this. So once we have this, we click OK and then we can see this. There is negative. We have a downward arrow with the red. If it's positive, let's try with this. We have a, an upward arrow with, we have an upward arrow with green. So next is we want to now build our card visual. In Excel to build card visual, we use text boxes. And today we'll be looking at using shapes. So I have my rectangle here. So I have this, so um, change the color. So change the color, shape outline. So we want, want to remove the outline. Here, so we have this here. So now for this card, every visual usually have a title. So to get our title, we're going to use a text box. I will simply have it here. So we have it as total, total sales. So here, we're going to remove the few. We're going to remove the outline. And we'll come here. We increase this, we centralize. We increase and we bolden. So now we have it here. So we can take this up a little. We can take this up a little. So next is we want to have our sales and a percentage um, year on year percentage change on sales here. And to do that, we'll click on this. We'll have our get our text box. And then we have this. So next we want to remove the few, no few, no outline. So to get the data from this cell to this text box, we're going to highlight, click our equal to, click on this and hit enter. So now we have it here. So now that we have it here, we're simply going to format this, increase it, increase to maybe 16, right? So the next is we want to get our change, um, year on year percentage change to this cell. To do that, we're going to click on this, we we'll copy this and we paste here. So this, once we paste this, we're not going to have, we're not going to see the effective change that we have here. We're not going to see the same format. So you just control Z, copy, come here, we'll come to the paste and we'll paste linked picture. So once we have this, we come to the view tab, we remove the grid lines. So now that we have this, we simply drag and we drop it here. We simply drag and we drop here. So that is what we have for this. Now we've been able to put together our card visual. So the next thing to do is 
if we see if, if I drag this, I'm going to have everything separated. So to have everything in one accord, I will, I'm just simply going to highlight everything and group. So click on this, hold the control key, click on this, hold the control key, I highlight everything and I group. So now I've grouped, I'm able to move this around. So the next is, so I want to have the same for profit. So I won't go about doing the same thing over and over. What I'll simply do is I copy and I paste. I copy and I paste. So I'm going to ungroup so I can affect my changes. So I come here, I change from sales to profit and um, So I simply change this from A to C. And I have the same thing here. Um, so for this, I have B10 and I'll just simply change to D. So once I have this, I've have everything highlighted. So, yes. So now I'll, I want to also mention that this is very much dynamic. So, to check this, let's simply um, have our slicer, let's insert slicer. Uh, let's try for product category. So, check this. I have this down here. So if I click on this, we can see all other changes have been affected. Everything is changing. So this is how we can create our card visual in K our card create our KPI card visual in Excel. All right, everybody. Well done. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Click the click the like button a bell notification and like this video.